So I'm going to put this in our skillet and get it cooking. And I'm going to season it a little bit with some uh, chili powder. I'm going to use chili powder, cumin, and cayenne pepper. And you could use a nice spice blend for this if you'd like. Uh, something like a southwestern seasoning mix. But in this case, I like to get a little bit of cayenne in there. We don't need a lot of cayenne because it's pretty powerful. Now, cayenne pepper is a red pepper. And uh, cayenne is like the Cadillac of peppers. So when you go to the store, if a recipe calls for cayenne, get cayenne. Don't get red pepper. The red pepper is the generic kind. And it's not near as smooth, and I'm sure they use a lot cheaper peppers in their uh, red pepper than they do with cayenne. In other words, all cayenne is red peppers, but not all red pepper is cayenne. So we're going to put a little bit of salt in. Give this a little bit of stir. Turkey ready to go, and I did uh, cut it into julienne. And I have some black beans here that's ready as well. Now the black beans are washed, drained and washed. And did you know that when you uh, wash your beans, that you do canned vegetables, you reduce the uh, sodium content by about 40%. So it's a good idea, especially with beans, um, to wash that syrup off there. And uh, we'll let that cook a little bit uh, while we get ready for the rest of it. Um, I'm going to heat up my tortilla in the microwave. And the way you do that, I have a whole wheat mi uh, tortilla whole grain natural goodness, of course. I have a damp paper towel here. And all I did was take two paper towels and wet them and then squeeze them out as, as uh, tight as I could. And I put another paper towel on the top. And we're going to microwave this right before we're ready to serve it. This is coming along nicely. So the Culinary Dictionary says fajita, beef wrapped burrito style. All right, so while that, that continues to heat there, I have the rest of my ingredients ready to go. I have our pre-shredded lettuce and uh, our tomato. We have black olives, sour cream, and our salsa as well. And now I'm going to prepare an avocado. Where's my avocado? I have two avocados, as a matter of fact. And one of them is extremely ripe. I'm hoping to use that one first. If it's not, we'll back up on this one. It's not quite ripe. Now, avocados, this is very soft. And they bruise very easily. I get the feeling that this one's been dropped a couple times before we bought it. But uh, to cut it, you just cut it around in a circle like this. And then twist. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. And uh, it came right out. What we'll do is uh, put some avocado at one end of our board here, of our platter. And they should be very soft. So that's why I was hoping that this one wasn't too bruised up. When you uh, test the avocado for doneness, there we go. When you test the avocado for doneness, you push on it with your thumb. But if you push on it, like point it too much, it's going to uh, bruise. So when you do it, you push it very gently with the, with the flat part of your thumb so that you don't bruise it. And then in order to get the seed out, we're going to take our knife. And what you do is you just take the knife and uh, hit it. And then you can pick your seed out just like that. That one didn't come out as evenly as I would have liked. But it's all right. And then we'll just score this. Like that. Avocado has a nice buttery flavor. And, uh, you know, a lot of people think avocado are really high in fat. And you know what? They are. But it's not like eating a bag of potato chips or anything. You don't eat the whole thing. And some of it is good fat, plus you're getting other vegetables. You get potassium, vitamin A, riboflavin, whatever the heck that is. I don't know what it really is. But uh, I know it's good for you. So there we have our avocado. We could do another one, but I think that'll be enough for now. Um, and if you'd prefer, you could serve guacamole. Uh, 
The majority of the avocados that we get today in, in the United States are, are grown in California, um, but they originated in the tropics, and uh, you do want to be careful with them while you're, uh, while you're handling them. What's going on back here? We only need one more thing for our recipe, and that would be the cheddar cheese. This is looking good. I'm going to reduce the heat on that and uh, get the cheddar cheese out. Um, and I'm going to use a, I know most people do like yellow cheddar, but uh, your white cheddar is a better choice because white cheddar is exactly the same as yellow cheddar, only there's no food coloring in it. And I have um, salsa. I guess I have pretty much everything. Doesn't this look great? Woo wee! Now, can you imagine this for your football party? Big group of guys, healthy, fun meal for your family. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? And we have our fajitas that are totally heated here, and they will stay nice and warm if you put another plate right over top of them. So. I'm <laughs>